I'm outside with what's it. He's eating some weeds for us. Look at the state of the garden. Can't wait to sort it out next month probably. We'll jet wash the patio and the stones and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we'll jet wash everything. Get the garden furniture looking nice, plant a bunch of flowers again. It'll be lovely. Hello everyone, I'm starting the vlog in a super random spot today, on my bed. <laughs> well, I'm on the floor, you're on the bed. Um, because it's so bright and sunny upstairs in our bedroom and other than the kitchen, it's a black hole downstairs. So I just thought I would start the vlog up here. I didn't really film anything else yesterday, I don't think, um, but I feel a little bit brighter so far this week and I hope that hangs around. Um, thank you for your lovely comments on last week's vlog. I've been very, very uncertain over whether I should share anything. Um, but I think just giving sort of like the bare details so you understand sort of why things are a bit tricky right now and why I, I don't seem to be able to like pull myself out of this funk that I'm in. I think that was the right thing to do. Archie's laying on the bed next to me and looking so cute. There's like one really sunny triangle on the bed and he's laying in it. Are you adorable? Yes, you are, but you're naughty. And I'm going to tell them about it. I am. So yeah, yesterday I just worked until lunchtime. Um, did one of my dance workouts and then I just sat outside for a couple of hours and um, let the rabbits have a run around. And that was really nice. And then for the rest of the day, I basically did nothing. <laughs> um, but today it is beautiful sunshine. So I got up, did my workout. Um, I've got ready for work. Uh, I've got work in a minute. That will be until lunchtime. And then I'm going to try and get out for a walk, I think, because the weather is so nice and it's going to rain for the next week. But yeah, I also like had this realisation this morning that this time last year was the last like normal week for a lot of people and it wasn't normal for me because I was actually in hospital being tested for different types of cancer and thinking that I was going to die so this wasn't a normal week for me and Will um, but for the rest of the population pretty much um, this was like the last normal week before Covid really took over and um, we went into lockdown and all that jazz so it's weird to think, isn't it, that it's been a year. It's just super weird to think like how everything changed virtually overnight and everyone was living that last like normal week thinking, oh, it's just a flu, like it'll be fine. And then it wasn't fine and it's still not fine a year later. When's the world gonna go back to normal, eh? Anyway, I said I'd tell you about this little one being naughty. He's being a little bit of a pickle at the moment he's barking at everything in the garden i think it's because in the winter people don't really spend any time in their gardens so he doesn't really hear many noises out there and now it's going into spring and we've had some nicer weather obviously people are in the garden in their gardens and the uh, the people who live behind us have actually just got a puppy so they're out in the garden all the time using sort of like traditional dog voices you know and i think it's unsettling him a little bit and he's barking every time he goes out there and it's driving us both nuts, isn't it? And he's being a bit naughty at meal times. He's being a bit aggressive over his food. So I think we're going to have to feed them separately. And it makes me nervous because obviously we've got Margot coming home in a few weeks. Yeah, it does make me nervous. And it makes me think like, oh God, I really should have spent more time like brushing up on his training before she came home. We've been doing a few bits, but I just feel like lockdown is even getting to the pets now at this point I think because we're not going on like all of the adventures we would normally go on and we haven't even gone out of our local area so we're literally just going on walks in our local area we're not even driving to go on a walk and I think he's just really fed up like he's used to being able to go on longer walks in different places and you know we normally go on weekends away at the caravan or um I don't know, day trips to the beach and stuff like that. And obviously we haven't been able to do any of that. So I think he's just well fed up and he's sick of seeing the same faces, I imagine. Um, he was so excited when the builders were here doing the kitchen because he got to see different people. <laughs> so I don't know, I feel a bit sorry for him, but also it does worry me because obviously we're going to have a tiny little puppy in the house in a few weeks and 
he's being a bit naughty so <sighs> we'll see I'm gonna try and do some training with him I think with him I socialized him all wrong when I got him most people's advice was you know introduce them to as many people and dogs as you can and take them as many places as you can but actually the best thing is to just let them observe things um without being involved so that then they learn that they don't need to to react to it they don't need to be involved in everything it's none of their business but they just get to observe from a distance and so I think I socialized him all wrong and I think that's why he's a bit reactive plus he did get bitten when he was a puppy and never really moved past it so <sighs> I don't know, I think when I'm socialising Margo, I'm also going to have to go out and do little like re-socialisation sessions with Archie where I just get him to like just sit and watch the world go by. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit worried. I, I don't feel as prepared as I thought I would be. <laughs> everyone sorry the washing machine's going in the background um and it can be a bit loud but it is thursday um i didn't film anything yesterday uh just because i i just didn't really have anything to film um i'm feeling a little bit better this week oh something went in my eye something just went into my eye i don't know if it was an eyelash or what oh my goodness that hurt um yeah i just didn't really have anything to film yesterday i taught until lunchtime and then just relaxed most of the afternoon um i do however have my lollipop box club for march to share with you that arrived yesterday um so i'm going to do a little unboxing of that with you now uh we've just been out to take the dogs for a walk it's lunchtime so i've just finished working we went out for 15 minutes around the block which is why i'm looking a little bit flushed it's very cold outside um, we wanted to dodge the rain and just stretch our legs for a minute. So we did that. And then at two o'clock, I actually have my th first therapy session. It's meant to be by Zoom, but I haven't been sent a link or any information on how to actually join the Zoom meeting. So I'll see if I receive anything in the next hour or so. Um, yeah. Did you enjoy your walk, Winnie? No? You ignoring me. <laughs> Archie enjoyed it, didn't you, Park? And he's being a good boy. We've been working on his lead walking, haven't we? And you're doing a good job. You are. Here she is. The queen. The queen. Hello. Okay, my usual disclaimer. I am on Lisa's creative team. So I do receive my kits for free. I'm not obligated to share them on YouTube. I choose to do that. Um, this is March's kit. And it's called Smile. It's Spring. That's cute, isn't it? Be the reason someone smiles today. And these are little postcards. Oh, love her. This is the creative zine. So we've got recipe ideas, crafty ideas, all in there. Have a look at that in a minute. I love this cloud tissue paper. I'll be keeping that. Oh, I love this. Smile with a little heart. Oh, my washing machine, I'm so sorry. I'll do a little voiceover for the rest of it. So my washing machine was really, really loud for the rest of that clip. So I had to do a little voiceover. I'm just showing you some bits and bobs from the kit. As always, I don't show you everything. Um, Lisa was working with Bramble Fox again this month. So there was this little acrylic piece. Um, in this envelope, I think we have the DIY um, little task you can do. And in here we had some die cuts. But like I say, I don't show you all of that. Um, we've got these stickers, the tiny phrase stickers, which I love. I use them on pretty much every project. Of course, a lollipop, because it wouldn't be Lollipop Box Club without a sweet. And then we've got the circle stickers, which again are one of my favourite elements from Lisa's boxes. And then the sticker sheet from Mrs Brimble's, and this is so cute. Look at those bunnies. And then last but not least, we have the papers from this month's kit, and I really love this colour palette. Those, those pastel cameras are just so gorgeous. Lisa smashed it again. Hello everyone and happy Friday. The sun has briefly come out to say hello to us. 
um, in the middle of the rain <laughs> that we keep getting. The weather is not good here at the moment. It's constant rain, but then there'll be these moments of bright sunshine and blue skies um, after a downpour. It's like real spring weather, you know, like April showers, but in March. Um, I wish we had the lovely weather that we had last March. When I came out of hospital last year, I just spent like weeks just sat outside in the garden because it was sunny every day and it would be nice if we had that but we've got to work with what we've got and at the moment we've got rain so we'll deal with it i apologize that it's another week of me being like sorry i'm not filming i was actually just having this conversation with two of my friends who also have youtube channels and we were just saying that youtube's quite hard at the moment because a lot of us don't really have new content to share um and they are both creative youtubers so um, crafty videos take a lot of time to edit and put together and so it's you know it's a time intensive thing a labor intensive thing as well and when everyone's feeling so flat um, because of the pandemic but obviously everyone also has other issues in their life that are still happening alongside the pandemic um, it's just difficult to find the motivation to do them uh, to, to make videos and YouTube isn't a particularly user-friendly place anymore I feel my channel was hidden years ago by the new algorithm that they brought in. Unfortunately, I was poorly at the time that they introduced all of these new systems. And so I wasn't posting. So my channel just disappeared. And it literally hasn't grown since then. I don't gain subscribers anymore. Um, if I gain a handful, I lose a handful at the same time. So um, you guys that are here watching this video are pretty much the only ones who watch my videos anymore. And I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate you sticking around. Um, but it, it's just hard to find the motivation um, and when you can't go anywhere or do anything what can you film it's just you know I'm sick of being in the house but I can't go anywhere to show you anything it's it's hard what do I show you normally I would be crafting more I suppose um, and I'd have those crafty projects to share with you but pretty much the only thing I'm doing at the moment are my projects for Lisa for her creative team. I haven't touched my project life in weeks. I just don't have the energy to do it. I've totally run out of steam now and I I need like people around me. I need my friends. Like I'm really missing my friends at the moment. And I'm just so tired of this now and I'm counting down the days until the restrictions ease, but obviously that's only going to happen if the data supports that. So I'm just so over this now. Also, I've just come back to sit at my desk, so I thought I would quickly mention my desk. It's not my desk, it's the kitchen table. Um, the kids are about to come back from break, but I just thought I'd mention that I joined TikTok. Don't worry, they can't hear me. That's just someone opening the door. <laughs> yeah, I joined TikTok and um, my username on there is the same as my Instagram username, so it's Chloe Prender. I'll put it on the screen. I want to share cute videos of the dogs and the puppies and my Disney trips and stuff. So, um, yeah, maybe go and follow me over there because nobody is really watching my first TikTok and it's it's embarrassing. Hello, everyone. I'm just on my break from work. It is Monday morning, the 15th of March. I've just got a cup of tea and it's freezing. It was lovely and sunny when I woke up and now it's very grey and overcast. Um, I'm lumping these two weeks together, obviously, because again, last week I didn't get much in the way of footage. I'd actually planned to like, like really film over the weekend because it was Mother's Day here in the UK and I'd planned to film like how to survive Mother's Day when you're grieving sort of thing because um, I had like a lovely self-care day planned and I wanted to like film it all and just chat to you about how I was feeling. Um, and then I ended up not doing it and surprisingly I actually felt okay yesterday. I was really really worried in the run-up to it. Yeah I was really worried in the run-up to it and um, I think the idea of it was worse than the actual day itself if you know what I mean. I was sort of on and off social media throughout the day um, just avoiding it for the most part and um, I had a little bit of a wobble in the morning. I would have been about 22 weeks pregnant now I think so I would have been more than halfway through and I did when I woke up in the morning I, I did think about that and um, how it should have been really different um, so I had a little bit of a wobble in the morning but then I just thought nope like I'm gonna get up 
and get on with the day. So I got up and I cooked us a fry up, which then really upset my tummy. So then for like two hours, I was wiped out on the couch anyway with a bad tummy. Um, I don't know what caused it. Um, but then once I felt better, I just did what I do best, which is being a pet mum. And I think that made it easier because I've always sort of made a joke on Mother's Day about being a dog mum. Um, so I think that made it a bit easier because I felt like I still had something to celebrate and obviously I've got my own mum um, But to take the pressure off myself I dropped her present and card round to her the day before on the Saturday Just so that I was still acknowledging the day for her and you know being a good daughter But also just taking the pressure off myself a little bit um, To not celebrate the day if I didn't want to um, and also it meant that, you know, if my brothers popped around to drop off gifts to her on the Sunday, I wasn't going to be bumping into anybody and it just, it, made, it took the pressure off me, it made me feel a bit better. Um, but yeah, like I say, I ended up feeling okay yesterday, which was a real relief and I just, um, you know, spent time outside with the bunnies, I cleaned out the rabbit shed and um, spent time with them and that was nice and then obviously spent most of the day with the dogs. Um, and then I had a lovely long bath in the afternoon and washed my hair and plucked my eyebrows and just made myself feel a lot better. Um, I wanted to paint my nails and have a real pamper day, but I accidentally broke two of my nails right down to like the flesh. So I didn't do that. I'll wait for them to grow a little bit. Um, but yeah, it ended up being okay and it's made me feel better about other sort of special days or anniversaries. Um, because if I can get through Mother's Day, then I can get through those. Um, and yeah, I just feel a little bit better. So I ended up not filming. I just had a day to myself. But it's a new week. I'm working until midday and then I don't know what I'm going to do. Hi everyone. It's actually now a lot later. I'm just talking quietly because Will's on a work call. But I wanted to show you some stuff that arrived in the post. Um, my spending ban didn't last particularly long, I won't lie to you, <laughs> um, but I, I have been buying a few bits here and there. I just want to cheer myself up, you know, that this is a practical purchase. Just to reiterate, I bought all of this with my own money. Anyway, this is called a dookie. <laughs> and basically, you clip it onto your lead or your bag or your belt or whatever, and you put poo bags in it when your dog has done their business and you've picked it up you put the knot through here and slide the bag down and basically you can carry a bunch of poo bags without having to use your hand i'll be totally honest with you occasionally i haven't had a hand free and i've had to put the poop in my pocket <laughs> inside multiple bags so that was 4 99 and I just thought it was the most brilliant idea. So I ordered one in pale pink, but to be honest, I think eventually I might get a few more in different colours because I think it's such a good idea. And especially with soon to be three dogs, I will have multiple poop bags <laughs> on walks. So I think that's great. And then this is from a shop called Purple Paws Boutique, I think it's called. And I'm so happy because the stickers are rainbow. And speaking of rainbows... One of the bandanas I ordered was this rainbow print. I've seen similar prints all over the place at the moment and having recently been through a pregnancy loss and hoping to have another baby at some point, rainbows are really significant to me and really special to me. And I saw this and just thought it was absolutely beautiful. Um, so I picked it up and that is beautiful quality actually looking at the stitching is lovely and it's a popper bandana But it's adjustable. So there's three different poppers that you can use um, I don't think it was very expensive. I don't know if there's a No, there isn't an order Or maybe oh look life isn't perfect, but my dog is For sure. I can't remember how much the bandanas were but they weren't loads um, and then I bought this little St. Patrick's Day one. I mean, it has rainbows on it as well because it's like leprechauns and pots of gold or whatever. But I actually bought this for a little St. Patrick's Day photo because if you don't know, my dad is actually Irish. My grandparents are Irish and Will is Irish. His parents um, are from the Republic of Ireland and he has an Irish passport because he is actually Irish. He's just um, lived in England his whole life, so he doesn't have an accent. Um, but we are an Irish family. And we do appreciate St. Patrick's Day. And um, I didn't have anything St. Patrick's related. So I thought that I could take a cute picture of Archie in that. Um, and I might have some other green accessories to put Winnie in. Or maybe I'll put this on Winnie and other green accessories on Archie. And take a little St. Patrick's Day photo. I thought it was so cute. 
Um, but yeah, I love that. I'm so glad I bought that rainbow one. Um, so yeah, those are a few little doggy purchases that I made last week. And I actually may or may not have bought some other stuff this week, which will hopefully arrive soon. Morning, everybody. It is Tuesday and it's Archie's birthday. He's five years old today. So I've already made him some cupcakes this morning. I just searched um, peanut butter and banana cupcake recipe and just used one of the ones that came up that had ingredients that I had in the cupboard. Um, they were really easy to make. I'm well chuffed with myself. I said to Will, you know, like when a mum bakes her kid their own birthday cake and then they feel really accomplished. That is how I feel. So I've already done that this morning. Um, I have work in like 15 minutes, but I'm gonna try and ice the cakes with peanut butter that is safe for dogs. I have this peanut butter for dogs from Pets Purist. Um, they can eat human peanut butter, but some of them have a sweetener in called xylitol, which is actually toxic to dogs. So you can um, use peanut butter that you have just for yourself, but you must make sure it doesn't have xylitol in it. This is, like I say, from Pets Purist. It's 100% natural and it's specifically for dogs. So it doesn't have any nasties in. And then I've got these little heart-shaped treats. Oh, there's an eyelash. <laughs> I was hoping that I would have some little dog bone shaped treats left over, but I don't. So I'm gonna use these little hearts. So the one thing about this peanut butter is that it's actually quite um, difficult to spread or to um, use. So what I'm gonna do is mash it down a little bit in the jar. And then try and spread a bit on. Oh yeah, that's gonna work just fine. They honestly smell really good as well because they smell like just banana and peanut butter. And then I'm gonna put a little heart there and a little heart there. <laughs> honestly, what am I like spending my Tuesday morning making birthday cupcakes? for my dog, eh? But it's just because I love him. My absolute little sunshine they are. These are also not very good um, recognizable heart-shaped treats. <laughs> right, last one. last one and honestly excluding cooking time because obviously I don't need to do anything while they're cooking just keep a little bit of an eye on them but I cleaned the kitchen up and um, tidied the living room while they were cooking um, these have only taken me probably about 20 minutes to do and they were completely free because I already had all of the stuff and normally I buy them a birthday cake for like 20 quid so look at that that'll do look they're adorable <laughs> they honestly smell so good <laughs> i finished work and look who's here with his birthday badge it's archie <laughs> and he's waiting for a pup cake and his present. <gasps> is it your birthday? It is. Do you want a present? Or oh, don't you jump on that table, don't do it. Look. Actually, I'm gonna open this one first. Whoa. Tear it. This was Archie's first present. It's very exciting. Should we go open your other present? You've still got one. And cupcakes. 
This next one is to replace a toy that's broken and now needs to be thrown away. I think he's very happy with his toy. <laughs> oh, oh, uh oh, he dropped it. <laughs> he's been playing with it since he opened it. Honestly, this most stupid thing just happened to me. I um, am sending, well, I've sent off a parcel to our breeder with a little pillow in it that Archie used to use when he was a baby, that smells of our house, it smells of us. And I'm send, I've sent it off to her so that Margot can have it for the next like 11, 12 days um, to recognize our smell. And then obviously if it stays with her until she comes home with us, it will smell like her and her mom and her siblings. When she brings it home, she can have it with her here um, and feel a little bit more comfortable. And the breeder is sending some toys that the puppies have been playing with uh, home to us so that Archie and Winnie can get used to the puppies scent and everything. It's a really good idea um, So that's what we're doing. Anyway, I was really stressed about the fact that I hadn't sent this pillow off yet Because it's less than two weeks till we bring her home and I know the breeder wanted her to have like two weeks with it So um, I was rushing to send it off. Archie's had his little birthday celebration I had a full conversation with Will in the kitchen. Just bear that in mind. I had a full conversation with Will. Got ready to go. Walked down the road to go to the post office and then realised I was in my pyjama bottoms. <laughs> so I like stopped dead in the street and like ran back to the house and had to put some jeans on quickly. But because of my tummy, I'm often really uncomfortable in jeans or like tight trousers. So when I'm sitting and teaching, I'll wear leggings or pyjama bottoms. Um, and I just so happened that I had my pyjama bottoms on today and totally forgot. So I went to the post office um, wearing my pyjamas. But thankfully, I remembered when I was only like 30 seconds down the road. But I'm home now and I've put them straight back on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I just got home from doing the food shop and my Emma Bridgewater... Um, Easter Bunny present has arrived, so I'm going to open them and I can't wait. <laughs> Are we going to open the card? Archie's helping me, of course, because he likes to open things. Aww, it's a nice Easter card, isn't it? Let's open yours then. Oh, what do we have? Oh. <laughs> Come on, get down then. Next one, it's got a little heart on it. Oh, look, it's a little hanging bunny with poker bees on. That's cute. <laughs> it says my name on it. That is so cool. Chocolate with my name on. How cool. Chocolate. Oh my goodness. Lindor mini eggs. Love it. Oh my goodness, what do we have? What do we have? Oh my gosh, is this the little clover jar? Oh, it is, look how cute it is. I am so chuffed with that. Oh my gosh, and I've still got another one. I can't believe it. This is, by the way, th these are complete strangers who who buy for each other. So this is like the generosity of a complete stranger. Oh my God, it's a mug. 
What? <gasps> it's a mug with my name on it. Oh. That is so kind. She's gone well over budget. <gasps> oh my gosh. How lucky am I? Look at that. What an absolutely beautiful, generous present. I feel like I might cry. How nice for somebody to take such like time and care and to spend money on you like that. Like, I mean, I know I did it for a stranger as well, but this lady's just gone completely ab above and beyond. We've also had a parcel for the breeder, from the breeder, sorry. I think I told you I sent off. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yesterday was your birthday, not today. I think I told you that I was sending off a pillow so the puppy could have something with our smell on it so she could recognise our scent when she meets us next weekend. And um, so that by the time she brings it back home with her, it will smell of like her and her mum and her siblings. The breeder has sent us some of the puppy's toys so that my dogs can recognise her smell and she's also sent some natural treats. There's a pig snout and a rabbit ear and all sorts in there. So we've got these two little toys and I'm gonna give them to Archie and Winnie and see what they do. What is it? Look. What is it? Look, Winnie, you sniff that one. Ooh. What can you smell? <laughs> hi everybody it is thursday i finished work and then went straight out to aldi again because i think i mentioned yesterday that i was really hoping the pet event was on in store uh because i wanted to get margot a cheap bed for her crate stupidly i didn't check the dates the online event is on but the in-store event wasn't until today and somebody very kindly messaged me and let me know that all the stuff was in store today so I whizzed down there and I got the goods. Excuse my crisps I'm about to have some lunch but this is Margot's crate. Um, I borrowed it from my parents because they had it from when their dogs were puppies and they don't need it anymore. Um, it's a small crate and I deliberately use small crates with my dogs because they are less likely to go to the toilet in them and they feel more secure in a small crate. Um, so unfortunately, the sizes of beds that they had in Aldi, there was this one, which is the medium, which is I think gonna be maybe a little bit squished, um, or they had the small, which was gonna be too small. So I went for the medium and thought it'd be better to be squished up a little bit in there and nice and cozy rather than have it be too small and rattling around in there. This I saw online and really wanted it, so I was so glad they had it. It's the 10 meter recall line. I don't have a bunch of money at the moment to spend on a fancy one, and it's just gonna be dragged along the floor. So I'm not comfortable having my dogs off the lead at the moment. So I thought this would be really nice for Archie to be able to have some freedom. Um, yes, you, to be able to have some freedom. So I essentially feel like he's off the lead, but I'll still have um, control of him. Um, and I can use it with Margot for training recall because there's no way I'm letting her off the lead with dog theft the way it is at the moment. And then there was this cute blanket which has got lots of different dogs on including a little brown sausage like she is and that was 4 99 So I think in total it came to £22. You are such a poser. You think everything's about you, don't you? You're so vain. Um... But yeah, so I'm so pleased. Finally got her a bed and a little blanket. I'm going to get another blanket as well, I think. There's a few in Asda that I really like, but um, I'm trying to stay close to home. I didn't really have an excuse to go further afield um, today. But yeah, you excited? Let's try it in the crate. Okay, so it's actually kind of perfect. Of course, Archie's going in to try it out. Um, obviously, <laughs> it does fill up quite a lot of space in the crate. But because it's got high sides, it will make her feel really cosy. She's going to have blankets in there and her little heartbeat pillow um, that I sent to her that she's got at the moment. She'll be bringing that back home with her. And I'm going to put a blanket over the top of the crate as well to make it a little den. Those are all things that really helped Archie and Winnie when we were crate training. So Archie just went and chased a bird. 